there are some great puddings. Chris, I'm just wondering if this is too high a splash. No, it won't be. Yeah, can do. Shouldn't be.
All right, Nick. Now, what you've got to bear in mind, it's not a silly old fool like me who just stands there cranking handle, it's the arrangers, because a lot of the music, some of it classical, some of it musical songs, you might be glad to hear I haven't got any pop songs or 
not as such. I mean, the youngsters at home, you might feel sorry about that. Um, I've got some, I've got some classical songs, but every piece of music that I play is a, is arranged by the arrangers around 20 notes. So if you've got some people who are musically inclined, you might think, oh, that's a bit of a bum note. What you've got to allow for, they have to pinch a note from somewhere in the scale, because when they get to the top or the bottom of the score, they haven't got enough notes to play with. Some tunes sound absolutely fine, some sound a little bit off. Okay. You really can't play very well. Pardon? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't have to do anything except turn the handle. In case anyone's interested, for the end of the sting, I mean, bear in mind that these these uh, street organs, they were around um, late 18th century, and the guys that played them, um, they consider I wasn't no. They uh, they were considered to be a bit of a pest, you know. Um, during leading up to the, the Second World War, the Nazis banned them, and so did the Yanks, bless their hearts. And that wasn't actually repealed. They were banned in New York, and that wasn't actually repealed in, until 19, 1972, I think. Right. So um, as I say, I'm going to play a selection of music. And I have been known to tell a few stories. If, if any of my stories offend anybody, tough. <laughs> okay. Um, nothing diabolically rude, but some of them are a little bit hooky. Um, there's a big hero of mine, just to introduce you to the instrument and what goes on. There's a big hero of mine, no longer with us, unfortunately. <laughs>
Jesus Christopher's daughter. Around at 88. 
I will have seen so many things and had a wonderful time, so I'm sure that I'll be willing to leave at the age of 89. Maybe. No, he won't. Just one more thing I'd like to say, dear Lord. I thank you kindly, but if it's okay with you, I'd love to live past 90. Follow up. The little label here. So this is my father's show. If you'll all just sit calmly, quietly, while I listen. Coming later to say little notes, etc. Other questions. Unfortunately, uh, our friend and his road organ stole the thunder from the happy birthday, so uh, I shall scrub around the early parts. But uh, I have mentioned early on that today is not my birthday. Uh, my birthday was on the 19th, so I think it's a bit of a flaw, really. <laughs> my being loyal, you have two birthdays, and then one was Thursday and one was today. But statistically, someone said that if you fill a room, or if you put 17 people in a room, two of them are bound to have the same birthday. So it follows that someone here today who will be having a birthday today. Is there anyone here whose birthday it is today? Now don't be shy, because the first thing you'll be checking out. All right, all right, let's that one. I've got a bad plan like this for the time I've spent on Earth and having a reach middle, middle age. <laughs> <laughs> I've learned one or two things along the way. Things that one or two things. And many changes, of course. The most obviously being technology. I mean, that's exploded from when I was young and you listen to the radio and what is available now. It's just amazing over a period of my lifetime. It really is fantastic. And the other thing that's changed is language. It's a different language. For example, there's no G on anything now. It's a K. <laughs> <laughs> Speak English, it isn't it? Yeah. Instead of this one, um, that these two, those, it's these ones. I don't know where that came from either. <laughs> and the other thing that's changing, obviously, is the F word. Now, the F word, when I was a young man, was strictly taboo in mixed company. Now, Billy Connolly, of course, has uh, been put paid to all that, so it, it, it's, it's freed all round now. But there's another F word, which is quite interesting. This is a word that was designed to amuse children and to embarrass adults. And of course, the word is fart. <laughs> so you already there's a little chuckle, a little ripple running around the room. If you look in the dictionary under fart, it says, See flatulence. <laughs> well, that in itself is funny, isn't it? So, but of course, it's something that happens to each and every one of us, without exception. There's no getting away from it at all. The very young and the very old have got no control. <laughs> and that's how it is. Middle years, there's a bit more control. But anyone between 5 and 14 will be in hysterics if they hear the word. And the noise. The babies, <laughs> the babies are fairly well muffled, so there's no problem there. The elderly are a bit more entertaining. <laughs> it gets to the stage where control 
almost impossible. The left foot hitting the ground is a fart. So you'll get someone going across a room like a one-man band with a movement Animals, of course, also produce the gases. Cows, uh, greenhouse gases, I mean, they're ruining the planet. Horses, well, anything to do with horses is magnificent, including their farts, which are you know, really amusing. Dogs, now dogs are totally different. <laughs> this is where the word dog comes into. They're sly. They lay about on the carpet. They get up and do a little shuffle around. And they get up and they walk out. And then you get a lot of people like this too. You get a group near a bar, all busy chatting away. Anyone goes like this, it's a sure sign that something's happened. But otherwise, they break up fairly quickly. It's not the last one who walks away who's responsible every time, necessarily. Anyway, to lighten the atmosphere slightly, it's time for me to say thank you to all sorts of people for today. Uh, to the dear souls who organised that. Here, yeah, here. Yeah. Leslie, who made me an offer some months ago that I really couldn't refuse. <laughs> and I have to accept it, I didn't want to refuse it. And it really is the cake of the year, isn't it? Isn't it? Absolutely. And uh, someone's got to be responsible for food, and it should one person they have. It's one person responsible for food. That's how it should be. And what a magnificent job you've done with these towns. The team. The invitation <laughs> you received was kind of provided by. Sorry, and no, 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 I don't remember it, but uh, And the family should be along in the air. I think it's a real fabulous effort. So, so thanks for this. For that one. Uh, I was going to say thank you all, but I think you all enjoy being here anyway. Very nice. Yeah. Yes. I know, it's great for me to come and, and, and to, to meet you all, but for you to come here today, and it's my special day. <laughs> so thank you all uh, for coming in. Thank you. Yeah, as an afterthought, it really is uh, just nice to see you. It's, uh, I think this is an occasion that should be continued. Uh, there's always reasons to gather together, some not very good and some miserable, but I think, I think we should uh, fix a date for the next meeting.
How many years is it since you've done that? No, tell me about it, that's me. <laughs> he asked me if I'd wipe it down, ready for the summer. You know. Look at too many. Did I fight? You make a noise. Because we're one step, one bad enough, they stop. You look four of them, they all can pick each other. They start crying at one o'clock in the morning. And they didn't need some. So they took them out and put them on the hills and released them. Like somebody else even. I've read all It's warm in here.